Oh. Whew. That, 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 all that just happened really happened. Holy crap. <coughs> I'm a little, um... Oh, I need to look for Monokumas in here, just in case. I'm not seeing any. Would be a good spot to put one. There's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, I still have chills from that, though. Wow. Oh. Okay, let's take a look at the refrigerators. Refrigerator, here? I wasn't, ex I, was expe I wasn't expecting to find drinks in it, but when I opened the door and peeked inside, I see, there are poisons stored in here. You could secretly kill everyone with poison. In a way, it can be considered the most powerful weapon. But in that case, you'd have to ignore the rules. Regardless, it's slightly different than an ultimate weapon. Something called ultimate should make my heart dance with joy. Axes, swords, hammers, metal wires. There's a lot of items here that could be used as weapons. But I don't see anything that looks like it could be used... It could be the ultimate weapon. I wonder where the so-called ultimate weapon is. A window? Why is there only one window in a place like this? It looks like there's some sort of hidden meaning to it. But in actuality, what could it mean? In my mind, I entertained various possibilities as I walked slowly toward the window. And then the moment I peeked out that window... Huh? This is... What I actually saw outside that window... It's completely different from any possibility I had in mind. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh dear. Nagito, what? I see. So that's what it was. What I saw outside the window. If I start piercing it... Piecing it together and think about it. Yeah, I see. It seems I'm spur... Finally starting to get a larger perspective of the funhouse with this. Wait, what? Wait, what? Nagito, you gotta- you can't just- you can't just do that, Nagito! <laughs> what the fuck? I see, so there are a lot of firearms here too. There are even handguns, and grenade launchers even. Wow, man, this is- that is an armory, holy shit. Oh. Uh, looks like a medieval armory mixed with, like, a semi-modern-day armory. What I saw outside this window, it was completely different than any possibility I had in mind. But if I start untying the knots from there and think about it... Huh-huh, <laughs> I see. It seems I'm finally starting to get a larger perspective of the funhouse. I really want to know what was in there! Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I can't, that, okay, that's the exit to the final dead room. Which means where I really want to go search is down here. There's a door on the floor? Isn't this the first floor of the strawberry house? Did this door lead underground? Based on the sketch, there shouldn't have been a bunker. No, maybe what lies beyond this door. Haha, <laughs> things are finally getting interesting. Amazing! As expected of a place that cannot be reached unless you clear the final dead room. Thanks to how I arrived here, all the separate pieces seem to have connected together in one fell swoop. A chain reaction culminating in the truth. All thanks to just one clue. <laughs> I know now's not the time to enjoy things, but... This is definitely a good feeling. Especially that window. That's right, everything became connected from there. Thanks to that window, I realized the mystery of the ultimate weapon. And the funhouse. Now all I have to do is tell everyone else about this. Before I do that. I should finally take a look at the file I received from Monokuma. Especially if it's everyone's student profiles from their time at Hope Speak Academy. That's important. I cautiously opened the file and read it carefully, taking care not to miss a single letter. Carefully. Huh? Hey. Hey, can you hear me? No! Can you hear me? No! Not now! God damn it! The cock block! So much cock block on Nagito said. You can't. Not like this. Not like this, man. Oh my god. This. This fucking. This. This whole chapter. Oh my god. I don't know how to feel about this. It's so crazy. Can you hear me? Huh? I I'm sorry. Did you say something? Well? It's been about two hours since we spoke to Fuyuhiko. Where have the elevators been fixed yet? 
be bad if we still split up before the class trial, so maybe I should call them one more time. Mm. Hey, are you listening? I only brought that up because I'm really worried. S sorry. So what are you gonna do? You're right, I'm worried about them too. Let's try calling Strawberry House one more time. I think. Yeah, that's a great idea, I think. <gasps> huh? Nagito? <laughs> what? Hello? Hi, Nagito, hi! How are you? Hello there. Why, hello there, Hajime. The Nagito, why are you here? <laughs> because I showed up. You showed up? How did you even come here? <laughs> Maybe I teleported. Huh? What the fuck, Nagito? Hey, answer me seriously. How were you able to come to the side? Hey. Before I do that, there's something I need to tell you guys. There is? I tried to investigate Strawberry House as much as I could. Now then. I'll give you those details first. Let's hurry this up. After being abruptly interrupted by Nagito, Chiaki and I learned about the results of his investigation of Strawberry House. Okay. So we're getting all this in our handbook now because Nagito had that in his handbook. That's it. That's cool. I like that little touch. Well, I guess these were pretty important, especially the fact that everyone in Strawberry House heard the rumbling noise too. But what was that about the wall's alarm clock going off uh, before that happened? Also, the fact that Strawberry's hall button was broken is definitely worth noting. Hey. Also, there's one more thing I need to tell you guys. <laughs> I've cleared the final dead room. Huh? Me? You did the life-threatening game? Wow. Well, it wasn't life-threatening at all. It's just a little escape game that ended with some Russian roulette. Russian roulette? Mm. It's a game where you load one bullet in a gun, spin the cylinder, point it towards yourself, and pull the trigger. So, you really did it. Man. Uh, so that's how you're supposed to play it. It would have been fine if I only used one bullet, huh? I guess it was, just as Monomi said. Huh? Actually... I misunderstood and thought I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder, so that's how I did it. That- you only had a 1 in 6 chance of surviving. Well... But I'm still alive. After all, the only thing about me is how lucky I am. What's wrong with him? I knew he was strange from the start, but for him to casually do something so suicidal... is crazy. That's all there is to it. I... Anyway, because I was able to clear the final dead room, I was able to obtain several rights. And one of those rights... <laughs> was the freedom to move between Grape House and Strawberry House. Not only that, but wherever I move back and forth, I don't need to play the game again. Back and forth. Where would you even be able to do that, and how? Man. Hajime. You stay quiet. You've been repeating yourself over and over, and it's bugging me. Can you let me speak freely for a change? Wait, what's going on here? He's, uh... He's acting like top dog against Hajime. Also, I just have to say this. Playing as Nagito was extremely fun. Holy crap, dude. But still. Huh? <laughs> anyway, I'm definitely lucky. Thanks to that, I was able to clear the roulette at the highest difficulty. And I obtained quite an amazing prize as my reward. That's... Is that the Future Foundation file? Yep. It's a continuation of the file we received in the roller coaster. Continuation? There's even more detailed information about the killing school life that was in the earlier file. The killing school life? You mean the killings that took place at Hope Speak Academy, right? As I recall, Yakiya was one of the students who participated in it. <laughs> but even when we learn about the killing school life, it has no relevance to us whatsoever. There's information about the order of the killings, and who the killer was for each of the incident. I find it extremely boring to read about the deaths of people I don't even know. Right? Besides Byakuya, uh, of course. And it's just as I thought, that Byakuya was... Byakuya we knew, right? What? However, I can't say this information was completely useless. In truth, there are similarities between the killing school life and the school trip. Similarities? Um... For example, the first murder involved someone important getting stabbed to death in an unexpected place. The second murder revealed the presence of a serial killer among the group. Oh. 
And the third murder was actually two killings that happened in succession. Yeah, that, that is... Oh god, yeah. Oh, oh dear. That, uh... Whew, now that I think about it. What do you guys think about these strange similarities? It's definitely strange. I can't think of these as coincidences. Especially Monokuma's behind the motives and driving the murders. What are you trying to say? By the way, the fourth murder of the killing school life was apparently ruled a suicide. Oh no! Don't tell me Mechamaru killed himself so that everyone would be able to eat. Huh? Whether that means something or not, it's something each person should think about on their own. No, that's gonna make... If he actually did that, that's actually gonna make me tear up, man. I hope that's not the truth. I hope Megamaru didn't kill himself so everyone would be able to eat. I just wanted to tell you guys the truth. The truth? Are you sure you're not just trying to confuse us? Jeez. Your complaints just never end, do they? If you're gonna talk like that, I won't tell you any more. And I even learned what your talent is, too. Huh? Well... If I wasn't the only one I received from Monokuma. There's another one. That seal! Yep. Indeed, it's the Hope Speak Academy School Crest. Perhaps... Does that have... Uh, in have information about our stolen memories? How unfortunate. I couldn't find any clues about that. The file doesn't contain our information, just Hajime's information. Ju just mine? Why? Isn't that weird? Why only Hajime's information? Jeez. It's quite troubling that you would ask me that. I must say, it was always interesting that Hajime was the one who couldn't remember his talent. Right? But that ends now. Are you serious? Did you find out why I was chosen by Hope Speak Academy? Man. In a way, it's just as Chiaki said. Hajime's existence is special. Because you were... <laughs> just some reserve course student from the reserve department. Oh. Oh, shit. Huh? Well... Unlike the primary department for main course students who possess ultimate talents, the reserve department is for the reserve course students who entered the school through basic entrance exam. Essentially, you're like a substitute or the second string. So that's why he's acting, he's talking shit to Hajime. Well, even then, that's only a name. The reserve department is pretty much only exists to increase Hope Speak Academy's revenue stream. Reserve department? Substitute? Second stream. Revenue stream. What is he saying? <laughs> like I said, to be a reserve course student, you don't need to possess an ultimate talent. You just have to pay a rather costly entrance fee in tuition. With the funds obtained from these exams, the academy can focus on boistering and researching talent. <laughs> Through this, the symbols of hope can be raised. Isn't that right? Which means you're just a stepladder. But you should feel honored. An average, talentless human like can be put to good for good use for those known as Mankind's Hope. What the hell does that mean? <sighs> Perhaps you simply weren't determined enough. Did you admire Hope? Were you willing to sacrifice your body and soul to attend Hope Speak Academy? <laughs> or maybe you were just obsessed with Hope Speak Academy, like a fangirl following the latest trend. It's not like that, I... Stop it. Wanted to become Hope? If that's what you're thinking, just stop it. Listen carefully. The only humans worthy of becoming Hope possess amazing talents and a strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have that or you don't. There's no mistake. It has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by Hope to become Hope. You don't even know? That's why it's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blinded by your admiration for Hope Speak Academy that you couldn't even see that? <laughs> you're just some nobody with the reserve from the reserve force who had n never had a talent to begin with. And nobody who forgot he was a nobody. That's all. And I... I'm just... <laughs> That's right. You were never an ultimate. You had no talent whatsoever. I... Don't have any talent? Just an... Ordinary high school student? Man. Oh, I feel sorry for you. Are you shocked to learn that you were the only one who didn't have a talent? That's not it. But still, if you think about it positively, it looks like there's no more reason to doubt you. Now that we know who you are, a normal, average, utterly unremarkable high school student, <laughs> there's no way you could be associated with the Future Foundation. Hmm. But, if it's not Hajime, then who in the world could the traitor be? The survivor of the previous killing school light, Byakuya, would have been the most likely candidate. But now, that's probably impossible. Hey. 
Are you listening? Hold it. There's no need for you to listen to this. What? Huh? Well? It may be important to talk about who the traitor is, but we need to focus on Mekamaru's murder first. Because if we can't survive the Castrell, everyone's going to die together anyway. Hmm. In that case, would the traitor be among those killed as well? That's something I truly wonder about. Yep. Oh well, it's fine. I'll stop for now. Hey, hey. So you cleared the final dead room and obtained these files. That means you must have gone to the Otacon, right? Hey. Are you curious about the ultimate weapon? So... Did you find out what it was? <sighs> maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Is there any reason I should answer that? Huh? W what the hell? <laughs> I'm the one who cleared that room, and I'm free to divulge any clues I obtained there as I see fit, right? Are you planning to keep it a secret? Are you planning to side with the killer again? Man. Like I said, I'm not on the killer's side. That hasn't changed since this began. How many times must I repeat myself? I just want hope to shine even brighter. Mm. What you're saying doesn't make any sense at all. Just tell us already. Tell us about the ultimate weapon. Jeez. I guess I have no choice. I suppose I can tell you one little tidbit. I... You're right. I did go to a place that seemed to be the Otagon. I found many different weapons there. But I didn't find anything worthy of the name Ultimate Weapon. Don't lie, there's no way that's possible. Stop it. Coming from someone with no talent like yourself, it's truly offensive. What did you say? Oh. Fine, I understand. Now's not the time for us to be fighting anyway. If you won't tell us, we gotta go ourselves. Now, shall we go back to investigate Mechamaru's case? We better hurry, this class trial is gonna start soon. You're right. I haven't even seen the crime scene. Also, the guys in the strawberry house should be coming over to the site any moment. Bye now. Then, while we're at it, I'll go ahead. Hey. Hajime. It's okay, I already know. You want me to focus on Nekamaro's case right now, right? It's true, I'm shocked, but... Now's not the time for me to feel like that. Right now, I can't afford to be the only one who's depressed. I need to survive with everyone else and return home. That's what's most important. Isn't that right? Yep. Yeah, I'm really to relieved to hear that. We should get moving then. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> oh my goodness, right now. Are you... Wow. Just... Wow. This chapter, man, has been absolutely crazy, and I'm loving it. I had a feel... I still... I don't know if I could completely rule Hajime out as the trailer, like... As the traitor. Not the trailer. Uh... Because there's still the possibility that he's the traitor. Um, and he definitely was my number one suspect for being the traitor. It's interesting to find out that he doesn't actually have a talent. I don't... I still don't know what to think about that. But yeah, that, um... The whole final dead room, I... I love that. That was... Even though I had some trouble at some parts with it. Like... That was really fun. Oh, I should just forget about it for now. I need to focus on Nekamaro's case. <clears throat> I should probably save now. Yeah. Whew. Anyways, I want to finish up this investigation before I stop playing, so... Um... Just let's talk to Chiaki. Like, holy crap. Yeah? We should get back to Nekamaro's investigation, too. If we don't hurry, the class trial will start soon. Alright. Yeah, I guess we'll go back then. Um, man. I just, uh, I don't know how to feel right now. Oh, we're gonna uh, get in trouble with Starberry House now. I only know where Chiaki is, huh? Well, what happens if I go to the third floor? Anybody up here? I doubt anybody's up here. Wait, what? Oh, no, they're on. Okay. That's what they say. Did the TVs turn off for some reason? Huh. Yeah, I just... Oh, God. I'm in, like... I'm in shock right now. <laughs> oh, my... This chapter has just been crazy. Also, I don't know why I'm looking around here. I just felt like going in here for some reason. Let's get out of here. I didn't see anybody here. Just, you know, I was just checking where people were. 
Let's get out of here. Let's continue on the investigation. Just is Nagi good? Nagito is probably gonna go tell everybody else that I'm. <laughs> I have returned from the depths of hell. Gundam. Yo. Sorry, we're late. Hey. Just you all know it's thanks to me. I'm the one who fixed the elevator. <laughs> See? It's just as I said, right? Hey, hey! Are you even listening to me? I'm saying- I'm trying to stand out here! Hey! More importantly, Kazuichi, did you look into that matter I asked you about? Huh? Oh, the thing about the compass? I looked into it while I was coming here, but I think this compass might be broken. You stay quiet. You can ask for your opinion. Just tell me the results. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like Nagito like this, though. Oh, dear. The compass ro needle rotated 180 degrees while we were riding the elevator. The needle rotated 180 degrees? <laughs> I see. It's just as I thought. Hey, what do you mean by that? Well, that's obvious. Obviously, the elevator likely rotated 180, deg 180 degrees. The elevator rotated. Now then. I should go investigate Nakamura's body. As if we were thumbing his nose at us, Naito began making his way towards Grape Tower. Oh my! What the hell's wrong with him? Doesn't he seem pissed off or something? Naito, what do you know? How much do you know? Interesting, so it rotated 180 degrees. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know what to think about that. I really don't. Maybe the elevator just turned around. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. It turned a hundred. Like the. It turned 180 degrees. Ah, uh, that's. Yeah, that's. That's a weird one. That's a weird one. How you doing, Fuyiko? Damn right. Nakamura should be inside the Grape Tower. Yeah. If we go on ahead, we were a little late. Hmm. As soon as I came over here, I checked the first. This first, but it looks like the panel was definitely forced open. The elevator panel? Hey. Uh, might be better if I explain how the elevator was broken, huh? No, I heard the gist of things from Nagito. They broke the elevator by tampering with the safety device, right? Right! Oh, looks like words travel fast. Check out that panel over there. Just as I thought. Looks like they forced open the panel and changed the settings by tampering with the safety device. It only looks like the panel is forced open, which means the elevator was broken at Grape House. Well, I can't really tell, but... Hey, hey! I guess Nagito is like a tardy detective. What are you talking about? See? It's a trope in mystery games. They always come to the crime scene late, just to make an important discovery. But they can never reach the truth of the case. They just ended up... end up feeding the main character's assumptions. Yep. Well, in Nagito's case, he's not the type to feed anyone. They'll just make things more complicated. That's true, he's such a troublesome person. But lately... I feel like he's acting weirder than usual. Well? I don't think a new discovery is bad. Though, he might be able to find something if we completely overlooked. <laughs> I've made you wait. Judgment! The time has come to destroy all murderous illusions. Thank you, Gundam. At least you're still here. At least you're still here. Well, I've talked to everyone. Okay. Now, let us go to the Great Hall, I guess. You serious? Nakamaru, are you serious? Damn it! I don't know who did this, but this is pretty fucked up. Hey. Now it's not the time to get sentimental. Come on, we need to hurry up and investigate. But we've already investigated everything we can here. Wow. No, you haven't. There's still something you should be able to investigate more thoroughly. Now that Mikan is no longer with us, we can't perform an autopsy. Right? But Kazuichi should be able to disassemble the body, right? Huh? Oh, oh, Kazuichi's doing the, the quote-unquote, uh... It cannot be! <laughs> autopsy report now. Is that true? Are you going to disassemble Nekamaru's body? I won't forgive you! Don't screw him with me! Hasn't Nekamaru, Coach Nekamaru already been through enough already? You don't know? Been through enough? We need to perform this investigation so we can find out who the killer is. Or perhaps you don't want to know, Akane. Maybe you don't care about what happened to Nekamaru. D damn it! Well, why you? You stay quiet. 
if you suck at using your brain and really want to know who the killer is, try not to interfere so much. Holy crap, Nagito. Jeez. Come on, Kazuichi, what are you standing there for? Ah. Damn it, fine, I just have to do it, right? I know I said I wanted to see his insides, but not like this. This is too much. Well... Come on, are you guys feeling okay too? Now's not the time to be sparing into space. Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. I thought he was just treating me differently ever since he found out I have no talent, but... Yeah, he's treating everybody differently. Seems like that's not entirely the case. His attitude towards everyone is strange now, too. But why? Holy crap, dude. Ah, <sighs> alright, alright. Well, first let's talk to everybody. Not the wall, Hajime. I'm terribly sorry, but I cannot... I simply cannot investigate Nekomura's body. But still... I'm sure it's painful for Kazuichi to do something like this, too. We can't let this go to waste. We need to find something no matter what. She's staring at Nekomura's body with terrifying eyes. Hey, blood's dripping from your fist. I'm good. It's nothing. I was just holding back my anger and dug my nails into my palm. Damn it! This is nothing. It doesn't hurt at all compared to Nekomaru. Akane. I won't forgive you. I'll never forgive the killer. I'll beat him up so bad they'll never walk again. Damn it! You've come so far. There's no way I can get sentimental at a time like this. I feel awful for Nekomaru, but this is necessary if we're gonna find out the truth behind this case. As he forced his voice through the clenched through, through, through clenched teeth, Kazuichi faced Me Nekomaru. His eyes, full of, his eyes full of determination. Let me take a drink of water before I fuck up more words. He began stabbing his tool knife into Nekomaru's body. Huh? Where did you get that tool knife? Huh? Nagito gave it to me. He said he had it ready when we went to the amusement park. So Nagito did that too. It's like Nagito has full control of the situation. Maybe... Looks like the damage to his head is the reason. Huh? The reason Nekomaru died, I mean. Stopped functioning. Hmm. His torso is covered in huge dents, and his parts are dislocated. Maybe a gear sh shaft broke? Well, for now, I tried disassembling Nikomar's chest. That should help us learn something, right? If that's the case, I need to look at Nekomar's body one more time. Oh, first I'm gonna talking to you. Jeez. That's not the time to be staring into space. Don't make me repeat myself. Nagito, what happened to you? I thought he was just treating me differently ever since he found out I have no talent, but... It's not just me, it's attitude towards everyone is strange now, too. Fine. Even mongrels like you possess a soul, and that soul resides within your heart. But no matter how hard you search the insides of this machine, you will never find a heart. What happened, sinner? So where did Nekomaru's soul wander off to? It's interesting to think about, don't you agree? Okay, interesting. Okay, what's going on with the chest? Maybe the clock will tell us what time he died? I don't know. Apparently Kazuichi has finished disassembling Nekomaru's body. I should probably check it out one more time. Nekomaru's chest panel is open. The clock inside is completely exposed. The hands of the clock look at the pointing to 7.30. It looks like the clock's alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. Which means this clock bo broke the moment it started ringing at 7.30 a.m. Hmm. But 7.30 a.m. is strange, right? I mean, we should have arrived at the Grape Tower just before 7 a.m. for Monokuma Tai Chi. Is this clock malfunctioning? No, wait. Highly efficient- This is a highly efficient radio clock. Radio clock? It's a type of clock that receives radio signals so it can automatically update the time at fixed intervals. Simply put, it's an extremely accurate clock. Yeah, so somebody else changed the clocks inside of the building. Possibly, that's what I was thinking. That's right, it's a clock that will never slow down. It's even designed so that it cannot be adjusted. Haha, <laughs> I've become a Time Lord! Well, even if it's an accurate clock, they don't need to install it inside your body. What are you saying? I don't want to wear a wristwatch ever again! There's nothing more useful than this! An accurate radio clock that never slows down, huh? If that's the case. Why does this broken clock say 7.30 a.m.? Something protruding from the back of Megumura's neck. 
It's the good night button that forces Nakamura to go to sleep mode. My chance that the killer presses. Oh, wait, I've read this. So, the back of Nakamura's neck and behind him would be a her Herculean test. Oh dear. Let's do the wire one more time, I guess. Tied up with this. Uh, chest and left leg are tied up with a strong metal wire as if it's been bound. On top of this wire. Yeah, the loop. I don't understand the loop. Okay, we played that everything. Wait a minute, it's asking me if I should back off now. Now I'm like, now I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. The girl's chest panel is open. The clock inside is completely exposed. The point is 7.30. It's like the clock was set for 7.30 a.m., which means this clock broke the moment the alarm started ringing at 7.30 a.m. 7.30 a.m. is strange, right? I mean, we should arrive at Crypt Tower just before 7 a.m. for Monk and Tai Chi. Is this clock malfunctioning? No way. This is a highly efficient radio clock. Radio clock. It's the type of clock that receives radio signals so it can automatically update the time to fix intervals. Yeah, okay, yeah, we've been through this. Okay, fine, let's back off then. What's wrong with him? He's scratching over Nekomaru's body. It, seem, it almost seems like he's glaring at him. Hmm. Well, obviously, once we talk to Nagito, but first. Oh, okay. Well, everybody's gonna say the same thing here, and I'm gonna go talk to him. You're the worst! This is the worst. Huh? Jeez. You guys overlooked an important clue. I swear, you're the, just the worst. As I thought, there's no way I can leave this to you guys. What are you talking about? Well. I found this under a. F I found this under a fragment of the pillar that tipped over. Is this a doorknob? You don't even know? Looks like the screws came out with it. That wouldn't happen unless you applied a ton of force to it. Plus, it looks like there are scratches near the base of the doorknob. Hey. Don't you think it's strange? See? If we examine the far back door of Grape Tower, then the doorknob is still intact, right? Now that you mention it, you're right. Now then. If that's the case, where did this doorknob come from? If it's not on the door that leads to Strawberry Hall, then there's only one other possibility. It has to be the door connected to the Great Hall that we entered from, right? Well... It makes sense to think about it like that. <laughs> we should try it out. Try it out? How? You don't know? We take the elevator to Strawberry House and we enter the Strawberry Tower from Strawberry Hall. That's the only way we can see the other side of that door, right? But the button to open the door in Strawberry Hall is broken, right? It's obvious. We can just repair it. After all, we have the ultimate mechanic on our side. Well... You're right, but I need parts to repair the door in Strawberry Hall. I can't... I can repair it if it's broken, but if I don't have enough parts, there's not much I can do about it. <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. Well, I, I gotta agree with him, though. But you have plenty of parts right here. Huh? See? Just use Nakamaru. I'm sure if you dig through his body, you can find parts you can use. Uh, hold on. Are you saying we should use parts from our dead friend? <laughs> It's called recycling. It's much, it's a much better alternative than disposing it with the rest of the junk, right? J junk. Hey. Well, Kazuichi, is it impossible or possible? Like you said, I could probably use these parts to repair that button, but S seriously, hold on. Even if you repair the button, what's going to happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Huh? Chain. The door that leads to Strawberry Hall has a chain wrapped around the doorknob. Even if you fix the button on the strawberry hall side, it won't open as long as the chain's there. <laughs> you need to worry about that at all. Huh? I don't need to worry. What does that mean? Now then. Kazuichi, we should head over to the strawberry hall so you can repair the door. Hey, I'm not finished. <laughs> Hajime, you're going to come too. Later too, right? It'd be really bothersome if you didn't. I mean... If there's someone in the tower, the door won't open at all. Right? So you should at least make sure you're not pulling my leg. After personally saying that, Nagito left the area. Huh? What the hell happened to him? He seems on edge about something. Mm. Who knows? Damn right. Ah, oh, that reminds me. Nagito asked Kazuichi to do something weird for him, right? Yep. It had something to do with how the elevator spins 180 degrees. I wonder what it could mean. Hey! 
Actually, to tell you the truth, Nagito asked me to do something weird too. He told me to investigate all the clocks inside both buildings. The clocks? I. So I did what he said and checked them all, but none of the clocks had their times messed up. Jeez. <coughs> but why did he ask me to do that in the first place? I don't get that bastard at all. For now, why don't we head over to Strawberry Tower too? Along with the door not matter, there are still many mysteries surrounding this that we don't understand. If we go to Strawberry Tower, we might be able to solve some of those mysteries. Maybe. Jeez, Looks pathetic. like that's all we can do. Let's head over. You're right. What Nagito said about the door opening. What's he planning to do about the chain? Looks like it won't come off easily, so does Nagito have something or a plan or something? I don't understand this at all. Yeah, I don't know, like, what he's planning to do with the chain. Is the chain wrapped around the door number the far in the back? Okay, it's just saying that. I guess we'll head over then. Okay, you're saying the same thing. Jeez. The Monokuma file isn't useful at all. Every time we get one, the information is half-assed. Fine, fine. Let me clarify, don't get me wrong. But I'm sorry to say that I need you all to understand. Hey, hey. You purposely don't write anything specific enough to lead to the killer's identity on purpose, right? Y yes! Hey, um... If I wrote something like that, you'd be able to find out who the Blackened is. That's right! If that happens, the class trial won't get heated up. You stupid brother! You shouldn't have prepared it in the first place. Honey's such a dumb child. You stupid little sister. You don't understand at all. The number of fans that are eagerly waiting for the moment I present the Monokuma file is over 100,000! 100,000 people? You're just trying to scare me with made-up numbers! It's true! It's not made up. I have proof, you know. Very well, nice. you wise guys should know that already. Hey! No, they shouldn't. <laughs> Tell me you say it. It's embarrassing. You're so evil! I'm not! <laughs> Why did they come here again? I should've kept my mouth shut. Now I'm just exhausted. And do you have anything new to say? I won't forgive you. Okay, you're saying the same thing. Fine, we'll head over then. Holy crap, this investigation has been crazy too. I want to do more stuff like the final dead room though. That was that was actually really fun figuring that out. I'm glad that uh, uh glad that wasn't like too difficult though. But it was uh it was definitely really cool. You flinch, you will die! Onward to the land of the dead, Strawberry Tower. That's a cool thing to call it. Damn it. I, I can't do anything. I never paid him back. I can't even stop Nekomaru from being used as evidence. How cruel. Why would Nagito say such cruel things? Uh... Nagito, we know, would never talk like that, right? It's as if he's a different person altogether. Sumi's right, Nagito is definitely acting strange, but why? Super difficult. Along with the doorknob matter, there's still many mysteries surrounding this that we don't understand. If we go to Strawberry Tower, we might be able to solve some of those mysteries. That is, if we can really enter from the other side. Thanks to Kazuichi, the elevator is working now. Alright, let's go. We walked into the elevator and made our way to Strawberry House. It's been a while since I've come to Strawberry House. What's up? Hey, you're here. Hey, hey. Kazuichi, how'd the repairs go? <laughs> yeah, well, the damage wasn't all too bad when I once I got the parts, so I was able to fix it right away. Yeah. You've got a lot of nerve saying that when you use Nekamura's parts without my permission. Hey, hey. Well, well I mean, e even so. Now then. Now, anyway, now that we're all here, why don't we hurry up and try it out? What will happen if you press the button to Strawberry Hall's door? Even so. Well, there's no way it'll open. You haven't done anything about that chain. Wait a minute. Oh, hey. I get a feeling. I, I think I know what he's doing. The door to Strawberry Hall behind ne Nekomaru's body was blocked out by that chain, remember? If you didn't do anything about that, it doesn't even matter if you fix the button on the outside. <laughs> well, we'll know if we try it out. Yeah. It's not even worth trying out. No, we've come this far. If he's saying we should try it out, then we should give it a shot. Yep. Yeah, that'd be great. 
I think I know. I think I get it. I think I get it. I think I get what he's he's sensing it though here. First of all, let's talk to you guys. I am concerned. I do not quite understand. I do not quite understand, but if it will satisfy Nagito, we should try it out at the very least. You pissed me so off. We're trying out. Hajime, just hurry up and do it so Nagito shuts up. It's a waste of time. The door won't open as long as the chain's on the other side. It's gonna open. I'm pretty sure it's gonna open. Yeah. <laughs> Hajime, there's no time for you to fool around, you know? Didn't I at least tell you not to pull my leg? Perhaps you didn't hear me. God damn. Now, is he just trying to stop me from going in there? Yeah, he is. This is the bathroom. Nothing here that catches my eye should leave it alone. God damn it, you both say the same thing, you weird motherfuckers. Never using the toilet. Alright, alright. First, Kazuichi. Huh? Just so you all know, my repairs are perfect. If the door doesn't open, it's because of that chain, you know? It's gonna open. Fine. There's no need for the skyline limitation art of the demon... Wait. Of the demon mouse. I shall let you fiends press the button. Is that what he calls it? Interesting. Hey. Now that if you hurry up and press the button already... Mm. Nagito seems really confident about it. I wonder why. Maybe he knows something. I think I, I think I understand what he's getting at. Let's do it. There's no way this door will open. Not when the other side is chained up. With a feeling of resignation, I press the button. It's gonna open. See? No. Oh. Huh? Hey, hey. But the thing is, it's the same perspective again. I get it. I. I get it. Why did it open? Impossible! Where did the chain go? Hold it! Hold on a sec, that's not the only thing that's strange. That's right. There's no other way to say it. This definitely looks weird. So do, you, what do you mean, huh? Because the body's still positioned the same way as when we came in. Hey, hey! Doesn't this all look the same when we were in the as when we were in the grape tower? Yeah, you're right. When we were inside the grape tower, Mekamura's body was in front of the far back door. Which means the body should be in front of the door to the Strawberry Hall. So if we enter from Strawberry Hall, his body should be right in front of the doors as we walk in. Why isn't it like that? Why is Mikamaru's body in front of the door to Grape Hall? Hey, hey! Not just that. The parts I carefully arranged when I disassembled the body all moved too. The body isn't the only thing that moved. Even the tripped over pillars and the spilled oil. They all moved the exact same way. The crime scene looks identical to how we saw it when we entered the Great Paul. And there's the missing handle too, I just saw that. Everything that was at the crime scene inside Grape Tower shifted to the opposite side. As if it all rotated 180 degrees, right? I can't imagine the floor actually rotated 180 degrees, but... Is that really what this all means? It's more important than that, I feel like there's an even greater mystery here. The mystery is so great that it could drastically affect the outcome of the case. We might have to rethink this. We might need to fundamentally rethink how we've been approaching this case. I see. The chain disappeared. A strange feeling I felt when I went back and forth between the two towers. <laughs> yep, just as I thought. This is definitely the right choice to confirm this. Just as you thought, then you already knew about the mystery? <sighs> You have a bad habit of relying on others when you don't understand. Why don't you try investigating first? See? The door at the far back with the picture of the grape on it? Maybe there's a clue hidden in there. There's a clue on that door? Yeah, I already noticed that. You, you gotta show up, Nagito. I, I noticed that. I noticed the handle missing. What the hell is going on? Where did the chain go? Not just that. It looks like Nagito totally predicted this. What does that mean? Do you have a minute? I might have figured out the reason behind the chain's disappearance. Seriously? Perhaps what made this incomprehensible phenomenon is possible yeah? is... Magic! Mind Freak! Huh? Mind Freak! I don't get that reference. Sorry, Sonya, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. Why were we able to go inside the Strawberry Hall? This doesn't make sense. Hey, hey. Where'd the chain go? I don't know either. Mm. The chain was rigged to automatically fall off when the door opened. Even if it automatically fell off, where did the chain disappear to? 
There wasn't anything in front of the door when it opened. Hmm. It was sucked into the door. That's not possible, right? Man, this definitely doesn't make any sense. Hey, 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 hey! It opened. Why did Nekamaru move? Even the parts that carefully reached the move, too. Hey, hey! Is it really okay to come here? I'm still... I'm starting to... Uh, still, I'm starting to see the truth behind this case. I think. I think. I wish she had to say things... I wish she'd at least say things with a bit more confidence. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I feel it. Remnants of the winds of hell. How I've missed you. Fine. It appears that the netherworld is behind this occurrence. Fortunately for you humans, the portal created by the demon's power was too small. So it exists in this realm for only a brief second. Listen well! But the portal's impact managed to dislodge the chain, and it was sucked into the portal as it closed shut. This is the truth behind the chain's disappearance. <sighs> you have a bad habit of relying on others when you don't understand. Why don't you try investigating See? first? That door at the far back with a picture of a grape on it. Maybe there's a hidden clue there. Yeah, there's the handle missing. It's the door with the picture of grapes on it. This should lead to Great Paul. Wait, huh? One well, of the doorknobs is gone. It's like the screws came out with it. Now then. It's the same as the doorknob that was on the floor. See? The screws came out with it, right? And the doorknob next to Munkumara's body came off the door to Great Paul. Well. Well, that's what it looks like. When you said clue, you were you, were you talking about this? But what is it a clue to? This is going to be an interesting trial. What? Did you get even more confused? <laughs> no need to worry. One clue would change everything. Huh? All the mysteries will be solved, as if everything were linked together, if you can reach it. Just like I did. What does that mean? Even if I ask him that, Nagato probably won't give me an answer. So it'd be just a waste of time to a ask. It appears that it's time for the class trial! To tell you the truth, I'm tired. Extremely tired. Oh. I feel like spending the rest of my life hibernating already. Man, I know it's bad, but I'm so sleepy. I just want to ditch. <sighs> Though I really don't feel like it. I'll show you my serious side when you come to the class trial. Wait, why? Even though it's impossible since it's so annoying, you can count on me to take this seriously. What? Looks like it's going to start. Another class trial. Hey, hey! But how are we supposed to get to the trial ground? Damn it! You're right, we can't do anything unless we get out of this building. Hmm. Um... Kane, did something happen? Hey, hey! No, well, do you guys hear something? Hear something? Hey, hey! What do you hear this time? Suddenly, as if cutting off Chiaki, our surroundings starting to shake and rumble. Then it suddenly appeared before us. What the fuck? Hello? What? What the fuck? Is he telling us to go inside from here? Seems that's the way. I'm gonna go. Just hold on, Nekamaru. I'll make sure to avenge you. At least be a little cautious, it's obviously a trap. You cannot escape. I agree, I need to take the sense of danger. Even my familiars are saying do not go inside. It's nearly showtime! How interesting. If you can kill me, you're welcome to try. Try stabbing your sword through my very heart. <laughs> um. Now then, you should get moving as well. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Uh, it's annoying, but if Miss Sonya's going, there's no way I'm not gonna go. Damn it! It's so damn annoying! Guess it doesn't matter if it's a trap or not. One by one, everyone went into Monica Maran. Until I was the only one left. And when I was about to take a step forward... We're the same. The same as step ladders. Huh? Nagito was suddenly standing next to me with his eyes locked on Monica Maran. Other than small movements of his mouth, he was perfectly still. Well. You and I are just stepladders. For everyone who holds the title of ultimate, I always believed that I didn't mind. Unlike you, I know my place. What are you saying? Man, 
That's why I was prepared to become a sacrifice at any time. And from that, true hope would be born. I always believed that the talent that survived would be a true hope. Damn it. But it wasn't. There was no hope amidst all this killing. Of course there isn't. What kind of hope comes from killing people? What? R really? Are you suggesting that sacrificing others for hope isn't real hope? But you're wrong. It's only natural and extremely obvious that strong hope devours weak hope. Isn't that right? After all, that's what it means to live, right? There's no way I'm going to accept that. No. Oh well. It's not like what I wanted to say. That's what I wanted to say to you anyway. Hey. There's this one novel I like. It's a peculiar mystery story. Huh? A novel? Um... The story is told from the point of view of a high school girl, involved in serial killer mystery. But when you get to the end... <laughs> surprise, surprise, the girl was actually the killer. Oh my god, he's talking about Dog Europa Zero. Uh, isn't he? I just... Yeah, I... Yep. Yep. Oh. Oh dear. Oh. Of course, the story is written carefully so the reader doesn't learn the ending until learn the ending in the middle of the story. The protagonist is just a projection of the reader, and the projection turns out to be the killer. Yeah, that's totally done in Rumpa Zero. Which means the killer you were looking for the whole time was inside you all along. How do you feel about novels like that? It was amazing. What the heck are you talking about? You're just jumping from one topic to another. And I can't comment on the book, I've never read it. No good at all. Such a normal answer. I should have expected that from a talentless reserve course student like you. <laughs> but, I know that you don't matter at all, so why do I care about you? You admire hope. I love hope. Right? In some ways we're similar, but maybe that difference is what's making me so emotional. Enough already. No time to argue with you, let's go. Everyone's waiting. Man. Everyone, huh? So you still believe you're just like everyone else. <laughs> Reserve course students are so full of themselves. Nagido's chilling laugh continued as he disappeared into Monica Maroc. Calm down. That's right, I need to calm down. I took several deep breaths and once my nerves had settled, I stepped into Monica Maroc. Well... I guess I'll stop this here before the trial begins. Man, I don't... I don't know. It's... This is gonna be a really interesting trial.